guys. Last week we learned about how God's people had been disobedient and were exiled from their country. They were prisoners in Babylon for about 70 years. Uh, we learned how God used Cyrus, who is not one of his people, um, to free God's people who had been in captivity. Uh, so not only were they freed, um, but he prompted Cyrus um, to tell the Babylonians to give God's people gold, silver, and other expensive items. So God had promised that his people would be freed after 70 years in exile, and God kept his promise to them. And he keeps his promises to us as well. Um, after living in Babylon for 70 years, God's people were finally home. A group of them had returned to Jerusalem to rebuild God's temple. Um, they had started the work, but their neighbors didn't want them to rebuild the temple. And it was such hard, hard work that they finally just stopped building the temple. Uh, the people made excuses. Uh, maybe it isn't the right time to rebuild the temple, they said. They thought that because the task was so difficult um, that maybe God didn't want them to do it. Sometimes people today think the same types of things. Uh, they are doing God's work and they think um, that as they do it, it's hard and they wonder if it's really what God wants them to do. Um, but that's not true. Doing God's work can be very hard, but that doesn't mean that we're not supposed to do it. And if we find ourselves in a position that we're discouraged, if we will pray, um, we will find encouragement to uh, keep pushing on and doing the hard work. Sometimes that encouragement comes through other people, and that's what God did. God sent the prophets Haggai and Zechariah to encourage um, his people. Um, so the leaders, Zerubbabel and Joshua, started working on the temple again because they were encouraged. At this time, Darius, the king of Persia, ruled over the land of Judah, and he was in charge of so much land that he put governors in charge of some of it to help him. Um, one of the governors named Tatani noticed that God's people had started to rebuild the temple again. Um, Tat and I talked to Zerubbabel and the others working on the temple, and he said, do you have permission to rebuild the temple? So they said that they did, and he decided he was going to send a report to the King Darius to check this out. So he sends a letter to the king, and it says, to King Darius, this letter is to tell you that the people in Judah are rebuilding the temple of the great God. They said King Cyrus gave them permission to rebuild the temple. Please search the royal records to see if this is true. Well, King Darius's officials searched the royal records for Cyrus's order, and they found it. They found a scroll with a record from King Cyrus, and this was what was written on the scroll. Let God's temple be rebuilt. It will be a place to offer sacrifices. Let its foundation be rebuilt. King Cyrus had also ordered for the cost of the building of the temple to be paid for out of the royal treasury. So King Darius sent a letter back to Tatani, the governor, and he gave this order. Stay away from the workers in Jerusalem. Don't bother them or try to stop them. In fact, give them whatever they need. So Tatani and the other officials obeyed King, King Darius's order and the Jewish leaders kept building and they finally finished the temple of God. The people celebrated and made offerings to God. They chose priests and assistants to serve the temple. Then God's people celebrated the Passover. Uh, God's people were so happy. Now the temple of God was finally complete and God's people rebuilt that temple so that they would have a place to worship God. Well, years later, God sent his son, Jesus, to be with his people. Now God dwells not in the temple, but directly with his people. Jesus provided something better than the temple. He gives us himself. And when we make the decision to accept Jesus as our savior, we are promised life in heaven with God forever. Um, we have a friend recently that made a decision kind of like this. Watch this.
Well, I'm going to ask you a question that the others might know of your love. Do you believe that Jesus the Christ, the Son of the living God? Yes. Okay, is your desire to serve him all your life? Yes. Okay. With your faith in Jesus, I'm going to baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit for the remission of sin and the gift of the Holy Spirit. Congratulations, Nora. We are so excited for your decision to accept Jesus as your Savior and to be baptized. That is so wonderful. Well, guys, in our story today, God communicated to his people through prophets named Haggai and Zechariah. Um, they brought encouragement to the people that helped them start working on the temple again. I don't know if you noticed, but I hid a message in today's video to bring you encouragement. So what I would love for you to do is I would love to reward you for finding that message. Um, have mom or dad send me a private message or a text with the secret message um, of encouragement. And I will put your name into a drawing for a gift card. I hope you guys have a fabulous week. I miss you all and I can't wait to see you again.